Rick. Hello everybody, welcome to the first round match between Rick Reckless, oh my god, and he's got a blitz, and Danton. Oh, I play on Xbox, oh no! Oh, shut up, help me. <laughs> right, so there you go. Um, I'm with Fault Force, hello Fault Force. Well, hello, greetings, salutations. <laughs> How are we doing? <laughs> Bang, not bad, thanks. So, yeah, Joining you here in the casting booth, way up above the Thunderdome. <laughs> yeah, the Thunderdome. <laughs> um, Rick piling on some shitter lizards. Yeah, he's, he's got a huge TV advantage in this game, Rick. Um, Danton has a wizard, a bribe, um, and Silly Billy, and a mercenary Saurus with guard. So he's, he's got about he's got a, a lot of inducement money, about like eight hundred TV or something of inducements, because Rick has a crazy two thousand three hundred and thirty TV team. Um, What's Kizla. the TV difference? About eight hundred. That's ridiculous. <laughs> yeah. God knows how they let these teams play together. <laughs> failing the failing the jump there, even with his very long legs. Oh, misses the second as well. Yeah, he puts the re-roll in there, Rick. Rick not shy to spend his re-rolls. Well, the chances for that is a 3+, plus. So that's what? There's is that a 50% in... chance? There's a 1 in 9 chance of failing both of them. Oh, there you go. There you go. Sometimes you roll the dice and it fails, is how equity works. <laughs> See, the Lizards get a chance to start bashing back against the Kivslev team. Running their, their players down the pitch. Dan Tong and have an easy time trying to pick up the ball here. Steal it away from Mr. Reckless. <laughs> Smacking down the bear as well. Yep. Poor bear, man. That's animal abuse. I'm going to call Peter again. <laughs> this is scary. I mean, you know, he's, is this guy in scoring? Rick should have geofied with this guy, um, in my opinion. He's, he's on five. But he's not in scoring range, and this is like yeah. this is the main threat. If he had GFI'd with this, all of a sudden, if this pickup failed, it's just game over. I think the problem is that he's left the ball very, very open. Oh, it, is, it is very open, but he he's, can't he's, win this yeah. turn, Rick, basically, because he hasn't got the players to sack the ball and recover. Yeah. Very unlikely to. Whereas if this edge five had just been one square further forward, he would have had that. He would have had the instant touchdown threat. That is indeed how Blood Bowl works, Jim. <laughs> yep. <laughs> is this a blitzer on his ass here? He's got jump up, so this isn't that okay. bad. He's, oh, right, so he's got the leap in. Uh, Silly Billy, of course, has guard, so he did have to do his 2 plus leap to get his own guard in. Now. What's he going to do? Is he going to try and blitz leap another position in? He's going to yeah. blitz with that guy there, yeah. Yeah, this guy, this the guy's his main sack threat. He's, he's at four, so he leaps on the two plus, he's got rackle. Oh, he gets it with the ball sacker. Yeah. And exactly what, look, exactly what I said. If only this guy had been one square further forward, this would have been a touchdown. If only. I mean, but, do you want a touchdown that early against Lizards? Rick, oh, so he was I guess you do. Yes, yes. Oh, so he's just going for the three plus. I mean, he still had a 8 out of 9 dodge out and an 8 out of 9 pickup. Yeah. And he did roll a double one, so he would have failed with this guy anyway. But the point is... <laughs> I mean, he's got the ball protected as well, which is all right. I mean, he's getting banged on by some Sauruses, but apart... Sauruses? Sauri? Saurus. Oh, are they? Saur no, but multiple. Saurus. Is it Saura? Saurus. Is it Saurus, though? Yes. But a singular Saurus is a Saurus. It's and then a multiple Saurus. of that is a Saurus. Saurus. The plural sure? of Saurus is Saurus. I am 100% sure. God damn it. Right so to Google. He's in a pickle here, isn't he, Danton? He, this is horrible. This is severe pressure. I can't be that sure on it. I am sure because I've read the book. I've owned the army book of Lizard Men and it's Games Workshop's fictional creation. They dictate what this, what the plural is, and they say the plural of Saurus is Saurus. You so still got the book. Is. I've still yeah, got the book. Yeah. Is this the original hey, you go book, get the first book. edition book? Every edition book, it's always the same. Hey, can you go get the book, please? No. So we yeah, we're, we're going to need to see this, Jim, because I don't know. <laughs> <always laughs> no, it's like you're the, not going to see it. The plural of Jesus is Jezai. <laughs> it do be like that. Yeah, you, you just can't. You can't make things up. That's not how this world works. 
Exactly. Oh, oh, so there's a plural of an animal called a gaggle. I can't remember what it is though. <laughs> Fun bugs, yeah. Do you know what I did one time? <laughs> this is quite good. I um, I had a, I had a book. Uh, what's it like? A 40k Ooh. rule book. I had a 40k rule book, and like it was. It was like so many years old. It was like about five, four years old, maybe. And the new rubric was coming out, so I took it back to Games Workshop and said uh, I'd just bought it, but um, I bought the wrong thing. And when you, like, can I have a credit note? And they said, "Yep," because it was just Did still, in, yeah, because it was just still in perfect condition, <laughs> even though I like, even though I'd used it for like four years, it was still in like just completely mint condition. Right. I'm say something good. like the pages were stuck together. No, it wasn't. Given how much you fucking research, how does it do plural of source? <laughs> Wait, do you want to know something interesting? Yeah. You know, you know people say a swarm of bees, right? Mm -hmm. It's not actually a swarm. A swarm is the actual, um, like, the, the, the shape of the bees, right? When they when they all come together. Yeah. The collective noun for bees is actually a bike of bees. Oh, wow. that's fucking tight. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know, and right? also, just to clarify for Northerners, swarm means a swarm of things. It's not, it's warm outside, as in swarm. Right. You know I mean, it's not that. Right, okay. Shut up, you two. Just for a second, right? I'll pause it for a second. Thank you, High Elf Mage. And, uh, yeah, so what happened there was there was a hit on the ball, and obviously Rick popped the ball loose, and it amazingly scattered to Silly Billy, so he couldn't get the ball off him. So, yeah, he's Danton's under less threat now. He should be able to stabilize this turn, I think. I got told off by some lizard coach for calling silly buddy silly buddy. Yeah. Well, that guy. So, yeah. That's what I thought. <laughs> it was silly Billy for a long time. Like, they did change it to slibly because they thought, ooh, we can't be stupid. But it's stupid to not be stupid, really, when, you, when you've when you got, you know, there's a yeah. there's a Warhammer Total War guy called Tic Tac Toe. And, uh, yeah. you know, lizard men always have stupid names. And it's kind of tradition that they have stupid names. So Games so Workshop, what do you expect? Yeah, so they then say, oh no, we can't have Silly Billy called Silly Billy. That's ridiculous. Also, Rick is, you know, no, I thought Rick had left that guy down, but he hadn't. Oh, that's uh, that's the center. Oh, he gets the bribe. Oh, there's that's the, the bribe, bribe gone, though, yeah. Yep. Less fouling, I assume. There's the diamond tackle. Oh, not doing anything. Putting his guy on the ground, but that wow. doesn't matter. He's got jump up, so it just gets him a square closer to the uh, to the action, basically. You know what? A hundred percent of the dice rolls you don't take, you're not gonna get. That's why I like diving tackle. That I is, think yeah. it's, it's great. It's a great yeah, equity shift. It's massive. You've got to be rolling little equity cubes wherever you can. Yeah. Always. Oh wow, we're going them. for the uphill. Where does he get now? He doesn't. He's got strip ball, so he does get it. But that's a horrible scatter right in the middle of all these guys, and he's got no one to scatter it again, and no one to recover. So really, the scatter was never going to be good. <laughs> probably shouldn't have gone he, for the ball. He probably he can't have just leap anybody to... over. No, he probably should have just tried to free, like you know, block. See, I watched this live oh, on Twitch stream, and he they can, said the it was a bad move. And then everybody turned to saying, "No, this is genius." No, no, look at the scatter. That's genius. No, no he's it got really it there. Bad. It was a bad move. It was a really bad move. But now he's got all of his guys are surrounded by saurus and they're gonna get pounded that was a, a sore right to go for the ball he should have just uh, yeah there were several sauri in the vicinity there and yeah. you can only pounding that's about to take place sauris <laughs> <laughs> oh it rolls another pound actually you know since we're doing blood ball i am gonna order you some chinese because <laughs> oh, we we've, we've got time you want one tons right yeah order okay. him 20 quid I'll, worth I'll try of one tons. tons i'll try it don't get me 20 quid worth of one tons well you can't make gonna... the minimum delivery mate <laughs> yeah that's a problem Jim. <laughs> yeah 20 quid of one tons no problem you're gonna have to explain to the chat why i'm buying you one tons though for those who were either watching youtube or weren't here last week yeah yeah um... your people living under law yeah, so the thing is, um, Artemis Black loves wontons, and Fault Force says it takes a special kind of dickhead to like wontons. <laughs> you know, he used the C not word. He did, but I'm doing. We're recording though. Okay, okay. yeah. We're recording. We can't use it. Yeah, exactly. No, it's just just make sure YouTubers are aware. You know, they can use their imagination. They're not all <laughs> thick idiots that don't know how to not go to Twitch TV slash Jimmy Fantastic. <laughs> Some of them, I'm sure. Uh, can use our imagination to find out what we mean when we say Cena. Yes, um, but also it's not just that they can't work Twitch. It's also um, you know times, isn't it? A lot of people don't have 
you know, aren't free at the times when I'm on or the times the matches are on, so that's a big thing. Yeah, exactly. So yeah, all of a sudden now this is, he's managed to get away, hasn't he, Danton? And and yeah, Rick didn't do him any didn't do himself any favours there. I really didn't like going for the ball when there was no recovery and no way to get any you know, there's just nothing there for him. He should have uh, I think he should have tried to consolidate that last turn. But Rick loves just going for the balls every turn and to be fair he's got a two plus leap and he's got wrestle tackle strips, so every turn he can go for this leap in and the uphill and it's always gonna be decent odds of popping it. And if he pops it, things can happen. And he pops it. He pops it he again, does. Yeah. It's a good pop. He went for the ball. <laughs> it's a nice dance. It's, 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 right, it's all right, Scatter. It's okay. It's yeah, next it's to the bear, bad, you know. But he's, he's got this such guy who can go one. I think the worst thing you could do here five, is hit with the bear. Possibly. So he's, he's not leaping. I think, yeah, I, guess, I think he should have leaped just to cut squares. You know what, Jimbo? I'm going to treat you. Two, three, four, five, six, seven or something. I don't know. Go on. I'm I'm, I'm going to treat you, mate. You're going to get some spare ribs. You're going to get some sesame prawn toast, some spring rolls, some crispy wontons, some samosas as well, and some sweet and sour sauce. It's samosas right. from the Chinese. Well, yeah, if you don't want ask, to do mate. That, thank you. <laughs> you shouldn't. This is your once in a while treat because we didn't get Jim Con this year because of Rona, right? Yeah. So you didn't get to eat any pizza, and I know you've been eating your chicken, broccoli, and rice. <laughs> Look a little good, boy. We've been finishing up yeah, every yeah. day. So I'm going to treat you. Thanks. You want anything else? No, thanks. That sounds wonderful. No, some, some crispy seaweed? No? No, that sounds disgusting. Fancy some Coca-Cola? No, thanks. Oh, I'm going to get you some wonton soup. I'm going to get some, some wonton soup family. as well. <laughs> I'll get some wonton soup as well. What do you, do you want? Cherry Coke? Diet Coke? Coke Zero? No, no Coke. On the Coke, chat side, what do you fancy? I don't like Coke. Dr. Pepper? No. No. 7-Up? Have you got 7-Up? They got Sprite? Ooh, seven up, Sprite? Nice. Yeah, Sprite's okay. Yeah, let's go. Sprite. Good deal with the Sprite. I'll get you a Sprite. You're going to eat this on camera, yeah? <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> do, you want, do you want anything else? No, thanks. Let me pee on this to help. I'm going to have to jump over to Rick's game and turn them to slow the play down so we can, uh, we can see this. Well, it's, this isn't live right now, right? We, we joined late, so it's going faster. It's going faster now than it is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Live, so. All right, let's see if there's anything on this menu I think you should have as well. They've got some lovely stuff there, mate, don't they? Oh, oh I don't like Chinese, oh. really. I like a hoist and duck, but that's about as far is as they're going to go for a touchdown. So here's the thing: is the are the lizards going to try and stall it? I mean, yes. All Rick's players are on, you know, they're on the wrong side of the pitch. I think they just stall it, don't they? Yes, yes. They would they want to do. stall it anyway, but now they definitely want to stall it. Yeah. If only he hadn't wasted his bribe, he could have fouled this Edge 4 guy. I don't know who he fouled, but I'm sure it wasn't this guy. And this guy is who he wouldn't foul. Like, massive. Good point. Oh, God. That fucking like, the banner picture is the least appetizing. I it's know. Really hues of brown and yellow. It's <laughs> nasty. Can you can you send it to me as well, please? Bob Phil? What do you want? Well, the what what Elk's just commenting on. Just the place. Yeah, Wait, let me. I'll get you the picture. I'll send you the picture, Jim. Don't worry about it's it. It's all right. Fault he's already sent it. <laughs> Look at the picture at the top looks fucking lovely. <laughs> yeah, that looks. Skuro lovely. would be sick. <laughs> yeah. Mate, 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 they've got munchy box. <laughs> oh, they've got a munchy box. Okay. Oh, have you ever had a munchy box, Jim? I haven't had ever had a munchy box. Have, have I explained box? to you? Have I explained to you what a munchy box did, is? Yeah, it's all in a pizza thing or something. Oh, mate, do you want a munchy? Look, it's not got wontons. Actually, do you know what? Fuck it. I'll buy you this and some wontons. <laughs> mate, you are going to be stuffed. <laughs> what, what, what sauce do you want, mate? You got barbecue, curry, gravy, sweet and sour, or Thai chili? Probably sweet and sour, I guess. Oh, you. T Northerners. <laughs> <laughs> You get a bottle of coke with it as well. I can't remove that. Wait, 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 wait. Just eat, do their reviews one to six. You get six stars. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What the fuck? <laughs> I don't like not blitzing this guy. Like, okay, you can you can block these guys loose. You you can just block this guy loose. He hasn't got side step. You've got to hit this guy. This guy's the guy who pops the ball. You can't run away. Oh, I guess you can go right to the sideline. Okay, yeah, you can go right to the sideline here. This is, we're still in a replay here. He just goes right to the sideline and no one can reach him. Yeah. It looks like that's the case. Yeah, so now he's invincible. He can just get bit. Oh no, he can get hit by this guy! <gasps> oh, 
Oh, he can get hit by this guy though. I got your number. Um, I don't know. I need your number in case I try and call you. Oh, do you want mobile or, or like landline? You, you've got a landline? Yeah, I've got a yes, landline. Yes, 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 <laughs> <use the> landline. <laughs> <laughs> Why not? You've got to pay for it anyway. You've got you to pay your you shitty fucking landline ring. Because you, you had the one to it the other, earlier today. Yeah. <laughs> okay, okay, there. He's got a landline. <laughs> Fuck oh, off. Fucking boomer. He's <laughs> <laughs> got a landline. Oh, you respect. <laughs> <laughs> just give him your, just give him your mobile. If no, because the delivery driver will phone Fault Force and be like, can you come to the door, mate? And you're like, I don't know what you're talking about. I'm not. <laughs> and then Fault yeah. Force will say, yeah. Give, give him the landline. Go on. <laughs> Me either. <laughs> it rings the stream will crash. I don't know what my number is. Give, it, give us a minute and I'll find mine. You know your landline off the top of your dome. No, I don't. I don't. No, I'll give you How do you mobile. not know what it is off the top of your dome? I'll give you my mobile. The problem is my mobile's a German mobile, so it probably is better to give you the landline. Yeah, yeah. Why is yeah, it a German mobile? Well. I think it's I, a scam order. I got it when I was in Germany, and oh, he, what he's not hitting? Oh, he's gone. He's gone the surf. He's can he can hit him with a surf. He chained him forward, and he was going for the surf, and he what didn't nutter. get the push. Oh my God, Rick! Oh no! Oh, you can pause this. You can pause this while we sort out dinner. No, I'll, I love I'll, let's do this first. Let, let's, I let's... love that somebody's insinuating that Jim's got a fucking dial-up connection. I <laughs> know. <Rick. laughs> so he doesn't make the extra hit. He gets in for the score. He's done the eight turn stall. Um, that was frantic for Danton, but he somehow survived it. Todger gets into the end zone, and uh, right, I've got no idea what, what my home. Oh no, my home number will be on the mobile. Right, here we go. <laughs> you physically got the mobile. Probably on charge at his bedside table. Yes, oh, it is. Wait. Twat. <laughs> is it one? Of those, is it one of those little wireless ones? The oh no, his house phone. His house phone's definitely a cable job. He is stuck to the wall when he's trying to talk on that. Wouldn't surprise me. Yeah, there's no way he's sprung for the uh, wireless house phone. <laughs> Does it have the little finger thing you got to pull in, then the rotary dialer? Oh, he'd yes. be a bit of a hipster if he had that these days, wouldn't he? It would, it would. Yeah. I mean, chat, what, what, what do you think, chat? We'll keep you entertained while Jimmy tries to figure out how phones work. He's a bit old, so, you know. I mean, what was uh, what all your guys' first phones? Anything interesting? I had a nice old Nokia brick. Yeah, I had a Nokia brick as well. I had the 3510i, I think, which was colour. Oh, yeah? Yeah, that was nice. I had the one with the weird parachute game on it. I can't remember what it was called. Right, that's his number. Perfect. Thank you. Put that in, and Chinese has ordered, and it's just been confirmed. Easy peasy. Give him a quick bow so we can see if his phone, uh, if his phone works. I'm not kidding. Maybe you're gonna call Jim in an emergency for like he passes out. Woo! Half time. Passes out in a Cantonese inspired coma. <laughs> right, so it's half time. And now we're live. Now we're live. Or oh, nearly live. We're just about to catch up. And uh, Anton, yeah, one up here. Yeah, he's one up. He's still got his wizard. Um, that was a dream drive for Danton, really. That, he was really under the cosh there with a the blitz. Yeah. And like multiple chances for Rick to, to win there, to be honest. And uh, he, he was very, very lucky to get away from that half nil-nil. Never mind one nil up. <laughs> Both incredible players here, to be honest. I think it'd be taking any casualties. I'm, I'm surprised at like the lack of casualties here. I mean, he did have the you know the almost sending off of the skink when he fouled with it. But yeah. he hasn't. Anton hasn't really lost much here. I think Rick was. I, I'm assuming Rick was kind of hoping that he'd do some damage, really. He well, just yeah, he certainly, he certainly hit the odd skink with his tackle pommer, but did nothing. He hasn't but, done anything, yeah. But Danton's got a got a few three mighty blows, and he's been hit, hitting, you know, some uh, shitty little kislevs. You'd you'd have thought he might have hurt somebody. 
Yeah, you'd assume so. Of course, Rick has three reserves, so even if he did get players removed, he would only be losing player quality, not player numbers. And this could definitely go to overtime now, couldn't it? This could be, you know, Rick could definitely lose this if it goes to overtime and Danton wins the toss. So I wonder if Rick will try and score early and go for the turnover or just try and stall. It'll be interesting to see what tactics he pursues. I mean, Rick obviously having the extra re-roll over. We'll see what happens in the kickoff event here. Yeah, so I think, if you I get think, an extra yeah. re-roll here with the, with the kickoff event, I think you can sort of slow play. I, I think realistically the problem here is that he's playing against Lizards, right? Mm. One mistake and that, that's done. He's always going to have skinks around you and then you're part of the field. Oh, fucking they're always going to be in scoring range. They're, they're, they, they don't need to worry about positioning. Exactly. The, the skinks so the aren't one. really scary, to be fair. He's got a diving tackle skink. But Rick has an edge five dodge player, so like, yeah, that's exactly. Not, that's not an issue for him at all, really. The and skinks aren't he... scary, but... as long as the ball isn't on the floor. Yes, but even when it's on the floor, player. he just picks up in the tackle zone because edge five. So it's just yeah. Then no, then the the skinks are no threat. This basically Kislev pretty much hard counter lizards at high TV because the whole team can leap in and two dice the ball carrier. <laughs> like literally oh, where, where did it go wrong for Rick in. last half then? Why did he why is it one nil against him? Because I I just said it was very Danton was very, very lucky he got blitzed on. I do think Rick should have mm. made the GFI with the edge five to get him in range and him not being in scoring range could have been crucial. Like as it happened, he, you know, he got yeah. a pretty easy score and just got unlucky. But if, if that had been in tackle zone or whatever, the edge five being in range would have been huge. I think he also, like, he, you know, he had another bad scatter as well that when he popped it the second turn, then he should have mm. tried to consolidate and he didn't. And I think the fact that he didn't try and consolidate that turn is what cost him the drive, ultimately. Um, yeah. And not even his drive to lose there, but it was, you know, from the from the outset. Yeah, yeah. It was down there. He was position. almost clenching the ball, but it just wasn't to be. Yeah. And Lizards with that hypermobility. <laughs> just all the way down the end of the pitch before he could really do anything. Chasing his tail. Do, yeah. Yep. I don't do know be say, like but hello, Hiley boy. And uh, yeah, that's the thing. Um, leaping out of down tackle, not necessarily at all, because he's edge five, so he would, he would dodge on a three plus. So eight times out of nine, he would dodge. So if the reroll wasn't available, then, then dodging out wouldn't be very hard. That's the thing, isn't it? But yeah, obviously sometimes he'll eat a two plus leap out with the edge five. But the point was, the edge five can dodge out of the diving tackle, and it's not even Fucking bad. landslide. <laughs> Fuck off. <laughs> Blood Bolt is a thing, yes. Leaping um, out of diving tackles, you know, it just, it's yes, just the way it is. Yeah, everyone else can just leap out, yeah. And uh, But yeah, like the main thing of this is, it's basically a hard count, right? Because the Blitzers have got diving tackle, so like by yeah. default, they can't not have it. So so the blitzers just dominate the skinks and then every any player can leap in and two dice the skinks and it's just it's really horrible for lizards. But um that perfect defence, he's monstered the LOS. He's got a, a whole long line of lizards there, and that is an absolute guard locking for Rick. Um, That's a very old setup by Rick. That's a very old defence. It's cause he got perfect defence, fault force. So there's six guard. Um, Rick did. Danton did. Danton set up so, normally. Rick set up to why, one why side. Why did Rick set up like that? Because he thought that Danton wouldn't roll perfect defense. <laughs> that <laughs> stand, is that a standard thing that you do, setting up like that? No, he didn't need to do this. He could have just set up uh, conservatively and you know prepare for a blitz or a perfect defense. He didn't. He went all in on the quick score. I was he thinking, what happens if Danton it. gets a blitz? Like, yeah. what happens there? Yeah, and this was a is, very yeah, lizard as well. You know, this is this is not a team that you want to be trifling with. It will like, look scuro. It's not my fault. PC said he'd be on. You could come on, but instead we're stuck with fault force and help me. What so, do you mean Skuro. stuck with? This is Ace commentary. He said it himself. Quit your bitching. Yeah, like back down, man. <laughs> you can always come join us now, Skuro. Nothing wrong yeah, with that. Yeah, get in the booth, Skuro. Yeah, we get in the booth. Yeah, I'm on, only so boy, fat. There's space up here. Come on, come on, dickhead. Come on, mate. Let's, let's see what you made of. Come on. I think you can do what we do. Fucking see. Nah, you're not good, mate. Get in the booth. <laughs> oh, Christ. Fucking Americans coming in here thinking they can do us. <laughs> nah, 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 nah. Fuck that. I can just kick them out if you want. Screw <laughs> off. <laughs> So mean. Oh, you just bought you Chinese and you're talking about <laughs> kicking them out of the fucking booth. 
<laughs> to think I was going to cast marbles for you after this. Fucking hell. It's fucking disgusting what I'm seeing. It is, mate. <laughs> you know, the best thing is we're extending the time that Jim's streaming because the, the Chinese is going to arrive at midnight or 20 past midnight. <laughs> Every time man is mad. <laughs> so he's gonna have to he's gonna have to stream some marbles after this. Be a friend at war boys. Oh, well, too late, Munchy Scarrow. box. Yeah, he's got a munchy box, mate. Yeah. Why did he measure the munchy boxes in inches? They do measure it in inches, yeah. It's a twelve Why? inch. There's only inch one as well, there's only one munchy box. It's a big munchy box, mate. Twelve inches is fairly big. Yeah, it's the size of a subway foot long, isn't it? It's a foot long and it's 12 inches. Yeah, it's a foot long munchie box. You need to measure it, Jim. Is it, do you reckon they're using those, because the Chinese tend to use those uh, boxes that are, I don't know, trapezoid? Trapezoid boxes? You know, the trapezoid fucking... boxes, yeah. Yeah, you know. So are they measuring from the bottom, the 12 inches, or the top? Because it's a good the point. Top, it's fucking dirt. It may be slightly longer, honestly. Oh my fucking god. Different to the uh, different to the rare trapezium Chinese munchie box, which is slightly different. <laughs> yeah, coffee. I don't think this is going on YouTube, funnily enough. <laughs> Why is this not going on YouTube? <laughs> this is great. Get our own little playlist on Team Fantastic's YouTube channel. Yeah, why isn't this going on YouTube? <laughs> so you're gonna you're gonna fucking scalp this content twice. <laughs> fucking hell, man. <laughs> Borderline disgusting. <laughs> Northerners, mate. <laughs> oh my. Yeah, it's gosh. um. Let's have a look at this munch box. What's on there? Let's have a fucking look. Munchy. Munchy box. Sorry. Munchy box. Twelve inches with drink. Four chicken balls. Four Ooh. salt and pepper ribs. Oh. Salt and pepper chicken. Oh. Six veg spring rolls. Delicious. Six onion rings. Oh. Four pieces of prawn toast. Oh, prawn toast, yeah. <laughs> Salt and pepper God. chips. Mm. Fried rice. Fried rice as well. And a bottle of Coke. Oh. <laughs> Shut up, Get a choice of sauce. Don't get me banned. Shut up, you two. Barbecue. <laughs> Sorry, gravy. Just don't make me just fucking high chili. Don't make me just kick you out. I'm gonna have to kick you. I out. mean, how are you gonna get? How are you gonna get banned? Are people doing fucking hot tub streams? Yeah, let's go. Yeah. <laughs> this isn't. Even, we're not even making money out of doing this. So it's yeah, like, yeah, just lads fucking around. If we bought you a hot tub, would you do a hot tub stream? <laughs> it's a genuine question, by the way. <laughs> no, I'm not gonna do a hot tub stream. Even if we paid you and bought you the hot tub. Uh, yeah. Yes, you will, or yeah, you won't. Yeah, know. I won't. Fuck's sake. It's a shame. <laughs> yeah, apparently, apparently, at around. Oh, tonight, mate. When the Chinese is it. <sighs> God. I might order myself one now as well. Or the row at the same time. I mean, this is just unexciting because you can just leap away on it too close. Yeah, I mean, you said this before when you were commentating a Kislev match and it's just, yeah, they just leap in, two plus, bang, done. But yeah, you leap out, now it's leap out. It's like, this is oh, just, same thing, really. all of this is just doing nothing because Rick has got three players that aren't tagged. Yeah, two players that dodge away and leap away on a two plus. So like, this <laughs> it is, literally is what Blood Bowl is. There's just no concern whatsoever for Ricky. It might cost him a reroll. Like, Danton had to do more somehow. Like I don't know how he does it, but he had to do more. I guess you can tag. You can at least tag somebody with. Uh, oh, he's dropped my guitar pick. Yeah, so he's he's. You know, I guess getting in the way is all right, but he just gets blitzed by that rackler. <laughs> is he going for a blitz here then, or? Oh, he's pretty blitzed. I'll be honest, I don't know what's going on. I don't play Kislev or Lizards. <laughs> no one really plays Lizards. You just click around me and you end up scoring. Oh, yeah, I can commentate Dwarf matches, but that's about it. <laughs> oh, dear me. Do you know what would be really good, Jim? At the top of your stream, just under the uh, the score at the top, have an equity slider. <laughs> you can just slide <laughs> left and right. Langer is injured. 
<laughs> that would be awesome. Massive but you just you, 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 have to, you have to do it manually. Oh, that would be really good. <laughs> like, well, you just do an exclamation ship. mark equity, and like you just add and minus equity from the. Oh, you, you can let chat control the equity, yeah, man. That would be great. <laughs> Massive equity shift coming in. That would be. We well, have gyms. You have two bars, right? Top one is Jim's equity, what he thinks equity is, and then you have chat's equity underneath, where chat is predicting equity. <laughs> and you have chat actual rolling. equity, which is verified by third party. By bezel. Yep, by bezel, and we'll see how they all line up. Yeah, <laughs> yeah the equity slider would be amazing, to be honest. But it's quality <laughs> content, I'm telling you. If you I could do could, the equity could... slider over the uh, replay timer. If I could make that, that would be brilliant. I don't. I mean, I wouldn't have the foggiest clue how to do it, but it would be fucking brilliant. I could get some ice cream out of the freezer. <laughs> I mean, it's not like anything's <coughs> happening in Blood Bowl. We're currently just sitting here waiting. Oh god. Whose turn is it even? Fucking hell! It's Rick's turn. Well, Rick, what are you doing, man? Just dodge your kids lev out and run yes, it down the field. Not. Yeah, obviously he's got to leap out because it would be a three plus, and even though he's got dodge, he can't afford it to fail. He can't afford it to fail. He has yeah, to, no, he has really to can't. be willing to put in the re-roll this turn. Uh, so maybe he, he might be fouling this skink. He's got three reserves, so maybe he's a Ooh, leap from the wrestler. Ooh, skink's got jump up. Yeah, I think this he's is... going to leap with this wrestler and do the uh, and do the foul at the end of the turn. But if he doesn't get the leap, what happens? Then uh, he'll still going to be an uphill. Yeah, it'll be an uphill because he's he's going to leap with the other guy first. Yeah. Could he not have activated the the bear hill, or is he trying? Is he really going for the greed? Two D. Yeah, he's, he'll be going for the green two D. It's Rick. <laughs> That's fair enough. Yeah, good point. Uh, At least with Rick, he doesn't get upset when it fails. No, oh, I don't like that. I think Rick should have left because he, you know, this has to work. I think it had to work. Maybe it doesn't. I guess maybe, maybe, maybe Rick was right there, actually. Maybe it didn't have to work. For a second there, the equity slider went down and then came back It did, back and up then it was a mistake. Well, See, Bezel was no, like, no, I real think equity slider right. wouldn't have moved. Because if this guy gets powered, he just 2Ds with tackle. So no, oh. he had to... He had to uh, he, that, he injured. That there, wow, look a dog. Massive yeah. equity shift. AV9 out of the game. Uses oh the apple. He apples, he apples on the, he apples on the, the Merc. Merc. Yep, for all the Jesus. time. Jesus. How would you apple the Merc? Jesus. I mean, he's, I'm assuming he's, he thinks it's going to go to overtime, which is why he needs it. Yes, it was it was a badly hurt, so it's guaranteed to work. Oh, well, it's it's a poor decision to not apo the merc if you think you're going to lose. Yes, is that because you, you know if, if you lose your teams to lose? Yeah, it's a Soros with guard. It doesn't really matter that it's a loner. It's a strength I mean, four dude. Who stands does he reroll here? Guards. If Rick's thinking about the reroll there, then he should have left. I would. Her. He should have led with the guy, but no, that, that made it so that that leap made it safe, realistically. Yes, he would have liked that to work and fouled this game, but he doesn't need to, he's very safe. Well, he's got an instant one one DS here, hasn't he? No, somehow, some way. No, he doesn't. Uh, it's, it's, I've, I've just I've just got just got news here, I've just got some intel. Oh. It, no, it's, it's confirmed. Purple chest is oh, he's at the he's knocking. Can you hear him? I cannot hear purposes, but I do have word yeah, from his control that he is in the booth. Oh, he's here, he's here, he's here in the booth, guys. He's here in the booth. He's here in the booth, just sitting down, getting his, getting his comms wired up. Oh, hello, God. hello, hello. Sorry I'm a little bit late. I've had some uh, family dramas going on today. Oh, dear. Fantastically, however, after watching a little bit on Rick's channel, this is pretty much where I dipped out of that. So ah. it's the perfect time for me to rejoin. Brilliant. Perfect. Well, thank God Excellent. you're here to save us from Fault Force and help me. So this will be going on YouTube after all. <laughs> yes. <laughs> now that we've got a good, someone who actually knows about Blood Bowl and will talk about Blood Bowl. Woohoo! Well, you've just covered up. You've just covered up help. Oh, he's there in the corner now. He's there in the corner. Yeah. Welcome, Mr. PC. How are you doing? What's your opinion on wontons? <laughs> um, they're all right, aren't they? You know, if you if you have to eat them to get to the nice part of a Chinese meal, then I will. I know. S psychopaths eat wontons, don't they? Honestly. Those and Welsh people. <laughs> you agree? Disagree? No? Thoughts? I'm trying to look at some Blood Bowl. Um, uh, I, haven't, I haven't really seen the link between Wontons and Blood Bowl yet, but I'm sure well, it'll come to me. We've ordered well, Jimmy's. What's your hot take on the, on the state of the board at the moment? Go on. Um, I don't think it's that surprising. I saw the first half. Uh, it, it amazed me that we ended up in the position we did. I thought the Lizards got out of the problems pretty well. Um, 
I mean, pretty well. That's about all I can say about it. Uh, there was some luck involved. Um, Rick has played, I think, yeah, Rick's played pretty well at times. I, I like the way he came for the ball early in that half. I think things disappeared off a bit of a cliff when it started not working. Uh, but that doesn't, you know, doesn't take away how lucky the Lizards were to get away with some of the things they got away with. But then against a team this brutal, this huge, that can come for your ball any turn, uh, you've got to do some things that are lucky. And you've got to hope that pays off. And it, it really did. So I, I don't know what else to say. I mean, it's it's classic Rick. He, he played really, really well. But with the odd thing that you thought, why is that happening? <laughs> Uh, and the Lizards needing to get lucky got lucky enough. But is it going to be lucky enough long term? I still suspect probably not. Yeah, they, I mean, they, I mean they, to be fair, they were super unlucky to get blitzed on. Yeah. Um, but after yeah, that, that they, that's definitely true. Yeah, they got a lot of luck to, to stabilise ultimately. But yeah, Rick didn't help that. He, there was one turn in particular where Rick Rick went for the ball where I thought it was just pointless going for the ball. Yeah. And he could have recovered a lot of players to make the next turns harder. Um. I mean, I, I did like some of the things that the Lizards did. Um, I liked some of the things Rick did really nicely. Um, I loved it when there was a lot of debate in his channel about when he sidestepped onto the ball um, and the three casters all thought it was awful and he shouldn't have done and I thought it was a really good move. Um, that and Almost anywhere it scattered was going to be better. The Lizards then had to pull off a lot of three pluses and a four plus pickup, which again, for some reason, the casters on Rick's channel thought was impossible to do a four plus pickup with short hands. <laughs> Uh, and that's the point where I thought I'll go for a cigarette and talk to my brother. <laughs> well, I'm not. I'm not calculating anything. But a four plus pick up with sure hands. That is, I believe, seventy five percent chance to work, isn't it? I did try and point that out once or twice. Yes. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, yeah. I'm. I'm not good at blood ball. I got a twenty five percent win record. But even I know that's fucking simple maths. <laughs> but it did have to pull off. Yeah. yeah. I mean, that, that was the nice thing about that side step is it did make it much harder to get there. Um, yeah. But uh, this is a yeah, two plus it's two plus, isn't it? He's got dodge for this one, and then he can leap yeah. to there. So this is just yeah, it's score. this is fine, and that's the yeah, easy way. Like, you might do a blitz to make it easier or whatever, but it's still incredibly easy on the face of it. And I mean, these lizards are going to find it so difficult to stay away from anything that Rick's got, but let alone some of his better pieces that they absolutely should be going for it, going get banging the score in, and then uh, and then turning him over and winning in normal time. Yeah. I hope that's what we're going to see. I'm not certain of it. But of course, now Danton won't be scared to use his wizard. Nope. So, uh, he'll, you know, that will definitely aid him in, uh, you know, be, keeping safe from this Rackler. Also, he might throw no. a foul in on the Rackler in the second half, even without the bribe. Because, I mean, that is that is the key one for Rick, isn't it? That is like an unbelievable yeah. mm. sacking threat. Even though any normal Absolutely. guy can get 2D on the ball, Rackle and Strip is just insane <laughs> wow. yeah, yeah it covers every yeah. eventuality doesn't it you know pushes whatever it doesn't matter the ball's the ball's going loose if it's on a skink it's going loose because of the tackle if it's on a saurus they don't have dodge if it's yeah, on like... something that doesn't have sure hands it's going down and yeah. you can just go anywhere yeah i mean there is a sure hand skink of course uh, and it's being it's nice and safe on the bench right now so that's that's good um if there is another drive, which, you know, I mean, Rick has to score for there to be another drive. If there is another drive, it, it's going to be useful, but... What's your opinion on appoing the loner? What was your opinion on when that happened? I don't know if I liked it or not. I thought it was... Because he knows it's going to go to overtime. Yeah. Like, I think he has to do it. Because otherwise, yeah, he doesn't, doesn't know it's going to go to overtime at all. It, 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 you know, it, it's for the next drive. Yeah, he I mean, knows that yeah. Rick's going to stall. He, Rick's going to yeah. score. He knows that Rick's yep. going to score. So he knows it was almost impossible to see how that score was stopped. Yeah. This Kislev yeah. team can pretty much score in two turns any time they wish. So, yeah, I mean, having, I mean, what he's got now, having that big, powerful lineup still on the pitch. I mean, there's not enough tackle. There's way too many blodge pieces. It's still almost certainly not going to work. But if there is a way it works, it's keeping every Soros on its feet in the game. Yeah. What do you think about um, instead of going guard on the loner there on the mercenary, going tackle instead? Just yeah, I wouldn't have hated that. I really would. So because the guard hasn't really played much of an effect, and a negative two D is no fucking problem for Rick. Mm. You know, especially when he comes in with that that strip, the edge five strip tackle I mean, the, rod. The single, yeah, the single block tackle Saurus hasn't got through the amount of work you'd really want it to. 
Uh, I mean, two of them would have just, you know, meant stabilizing cages a lot easier. Meant, you know, even using one, the, the loner one, to mark up pieces that you just wanted to have. Yeah. You know, to make them leap instead of being able to dodge off. I think that's and, that could have had some real value. And, and he has had both sides a, of the pitch covered with tackle. Yeah, he has got a ton of guard already. So, I mean, but so does Rick, because Rick's got a ton of absolutely everything. Yeah, being able to put it into like a massive guard cage is pretty nice, isn't it? Yeah, it is. Um, and I don't hate it either way. I do think it was the right thing to do. Uh, to add yet another Saurus, get one less skink on the pitch is good. Yeah. Um, and then either, either guard or tackle, the... even block on it isn't terrible, but I think probably guard or tackle is the, the percentage play. But it's not a bad call, Elp. Uh, certainly it would have, yeah, I'd have thought about it. I probably would have gone guard in the end. Yeah. I, 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 can, we get, he's got, can we get a stats check carry, on the wizard, Jim? He's got to carry on a strength too, which means you need lots of guard around it, or else yeah. it's just going to get beaten up. Yeah, that's the thing, so I, I really don't mind the guard at all. Oof, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So you can get into the massive guard cage here. Yeah. The wrestling kick piece, yeah, he does. He does. He is bigging up Wank Nation. Uh, but the players for Danton are amazing, by the way. It's members only club, and all of his players are like, you know, something for a cock. Yeah. <laughs> for <laughs> for the male the genitalia, I think yeah. Jim is the uh, the nice way of putting that. King Dong. <laughs> I think he's just reliving childhood trauma when he was allowed access to his dad's naughty stash. <laughs> Okay. Um, now I, I haven't been here. I don't know if you've pointed out that this was the uh, this team is only in the chalice because Artemis, who had a better record with lizards, turned his uh, ticket down once again. Why did he turn his ticket down? He uh, is some kind of fucking, is some kind of fucking power move. No, he didn't feel he had a lizard team capable of challenging for the chalice, and he declares himself not really interested unless he's bringing a team he feels can go all the way. Or I think he's past the first round. <laughs> I in think Ant's he's just case. too scared. <laughs> or in Ant's case, past the first round. <laughs> Elliot did sum up Art's chalice record, didn't he? Yeah. yeah. Is it horrific, he said? Yeah. That's almost as bad as my CCL win rate, to be honest. <laughs> it is, um, yeah. It is the same, yeah. yeah it's he's, peppered he's, biscuit. Um, yeah. He is right up there with Andy Davo. <laughs> he is, yeah. Um, no, I, I don't think that's fair to either of them. I think both are very, very good coaches. Um... I, I do wish for Artemis that he would test himself more against the better coaches. I think that would be good for his game. But uh, he doesn't feel he needs to, so that's his right and his choice. Yeah. yeah. But yes, of course, neither of those records are representative of how good they are in Blood Bowl, but there are dice no. in Blood Bowl. Yep. Oh, he's failed to pick up, and it's gone out. Oh, wow. oh no. And it's backwards, it's backwards. There's still a chance here for it to go forward. Oh, yeah, big chance. Forward, this is it. It's going one. forward. No. Nope. But it's still... Okay, okay that's just far enough away. That it's yeah, that's safe. just about maybe not the end of the world. <sighs> yeah, um, that's... Don't get me wrong. It's not good. <laughs> yeah. But that's... The, 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 yeah. No one can reach the ball to pick mm -hmm. it up. Not even, only one guy can base it even. I'm, I'm not that concerned about that, Jim. What I'm concerned about is getting people between this line of scrimmage pack of sauruses and where the ball and ball carrier is. No, yeah, of course. Um, but I mean, at least at least he's not just getting the ball. Yeah. You know, like, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> there's a real danger of Absolutely. the ad drive. <laughs> just picks it up and, and you just instantly lost. Yeah, if that had come on the diagonal forwards back into this pack of sauruses, you've got to think that's Rick's ball in the end of the game. And Rick does have to think about the wizard. Like, Danton yep. does have a wizard, so it's, yep. it, it, there's a visual bug so you can't see oh, okay, okay, okay. the wizard in the corner. I think, I think the biggest thing Rick needs to sort of worry about when doing this push forward here is where the skinks are. Because they're the ones that run away from him. Given half a chance. Does he pile? Is it a question? It's Rick. He shouldn't. It's Rick. He What's doesn't. He pile on? <laughs> or does he? No, he must do. I don't see you it. Try you're trying to you always he does. Yes, yes. <laughs> well, you always the, bra oh, the brains Turns trust in, uh, stun. <laughs> in Rick's chat were saying that um, they felt he'd listened too much to the criticism of his piling on and hadn't piled on quite enough during his last chalice run. Um, <laughs> he did, he did it so, uh, at the end, his last couple of games, right? And it could have yeah. thrown the game for him, it was piling. Wow. Yes. 
I mean, you always I, pile on, though. You, as long as you got jump up, right? I mean, I mean, obviously, there's times you don't pile on, right? But, like, if you're, you're basically guaranteed a stun each time, it's, you know, it's worth doing. And potentially well, pile on is sort of one you, of those you, ones are where... Are you paying him to wind me up here? Is this... <laughs> Pylon is one of those ones where this the equity false. comes from doing it every time. If it, if it makes you feel better, PC, I am a terrible Blood Bowl coach, so I believe what I'm saying. Wow. Okay. He would probably join your little uh, sordid fumble club. Wherever you... Where's it? 145? Mm. Yeah, 145, yeah. There's, there's, there's yeah, people we can't help. Um, <laughs> yeah. wow. no, we'll, we will genuinely help anyone. I'm um, gonna hold they, you to that. <laughs> no, if you want, if you want some help and some coaching, and to play other newer coaches that are getting to know Blood Bowl and the Fumble Client, then the One Four Five is absolutely the place to try that. But it is Lots the Fumble of good Client. Advice available. The biggest drawback there. Uh, it is for some people. Help. I mean, you know, that's definitely true. Yeah. You know, recently, from the the Rebel Clan, we've had the exact oh, opposite. We've had roll. one of the best players on Fumble just not be able to cope with Blood Bowl oh. Two at all, and Holy desperate shit. to remove it from his hard drive. Oh, yeah. look at that. Rick, Rick put yeah. in a reroll to make the two GFIs to get the Blodge Firm tackles on on the yeah. ball. And he's got yeah. jump up, so if there's another fail here, he, you know, this is going to be a counter score. <laughs> yeah. Again, unlike um, some other commentators, I don't believe a 4 plus pickup with sure hands in a tackle zone is undoable. <laughs> so, I mean, while it's great, obviously making that a, a tougher roll um, and having that piece, as you said, that is an instant scoring threat. Even having it there, it's not, it's not bad, but it's not something I would be putting every resource into. No, agree. <laughs> what you should put every resource in is trying to kill this asshole who can come for your balls whenever he wants. <laughs> oh, that is genius! He can't get bolted on the floor. No, that's it. Here you go. Lehman Russ is right. You can't bolt him on the floor. Absolute genius. A ten-head play. <laughs> <laughs> NASA, of course, getting in touch to perhaps use the forehead to reflect as a reflector in the oh. telescope they're building. Do you know how telescopes are made? Just space ones, they use loads oh, of fucking mirrors. Hate Mental. This. There's no, they could have just blocked. There was no need to blitz. Yeah. No, that shouldn't have needed to be a thing. I mean, perhaps he's trying to create space over on that side of the pitch, away from where Rick's got most of his forces. I, I can see yeah. that. You can't get it's a hell of a long way for this skink to go. Yeah. It could, it could maybe hand off to the other one. And he's got all his guards here field. as well, isn't it? All his guards here. I guess there's a tackle. It does make the tackle relevant, it. doesn't it? It does make the tackle okay. Relevant. Okay, yeah. so it's getting the guard, the tackle back there for a, a run in two cage. I see that. Yeah. Where is he going to run in and two cage it? Yeah. Right in the centre of the field, behind the crocs gore in front of the bear. Yeah. Uh, oh. I suppose that yeah, does work. Yeah, it's just yeah, what what threw you off there was the uh, the back part of the cage was set back. Mm. Yeah, but it is a Venga bus in the making. Yeah, yeah. And it's fucked it because it's got that source on the side, but yeah, it needs a guard Ooh. in the middle of it. That's just to mark the jump up piece in case this pickup fails as well. Yeah, I like that. That's yeah, I don't hate it. Safety um, first. Now, do you block with the Crocs? He's got block. The big one is do you dodge yes, the skin? Yes, I think you have to. That player has to be taken down or else this cage Oof. is a joke. Oof. That was huge, wasn't it? How bad, that was. How bad was it? Like, even a push wasn't good, but a, a ball no. head would have been a killer. Oh, worth, worth yeah, knowing. You've, you've heard me say before, the, Jim, that you know, fear none of, of the guard losing is, relevant is often fear of winning, too. Yeah, I'd spotted that, Elp. Um, you're not wrong. That cage yeah. is a little bit too loose. And that's yeah, why I would have right. loved to have seen a guard somewhere in the inside of it. Yeah. Um, yeah, but then that would have, have robbed the back the corner. Um, yeah. But there's obviously the space between the tackler and Slibby. All right, I've got to go. Slibly. That would be the place to come in at this one. Oh, oh. it's the door here. Oh. Ding dong. Oh. Space cam will be coming on in a second. I've been left alone with Elp and Fault Force. The reason I asked you if you like wontons, I think I've say. You yeah, you've sent some to Jim. No, we've sent him a munchie box and some wontons. <laughs> Cheers, lad. Right you are. Oh, I hope Jimmy's tipping him. Poor fucker. Come back, Jim. Please come back. You're stuck with us now. Oh, oh it's God. a KO. Big KO. Mate, yeah. honestly, this is why you don't use the Apo. It's You're the so least such... relevant piece on the pitch, but it's okay. Guys, I've, uh, oh, I've got God, some news as well. 
I'm not I've got fault for really though. Did, uh, really did get this sent to me. Whilst, whilst Jim was Jim was at the door, it turns oh, out Skura had bought over some uh, <laughs> bought over some bought over some wontons. He's just left the casting booth though. Okay, so Rick's cancelled the one he needed to cancel. He's then put the guard in, which means he didn't need to cancel Slibly. He still gets two die here. Gets it, tackles that piece. No removal. And it just drops into a single tackle zone. That's not enough. Five guys in the booth. Boy, no. howdy. Haley, <laughs> Haley. Oh, wow. Hey, I was coming. Oh, you know how sometimes I've joked about you not knowing an enormous <laughs> amount about Blood Bowl? I so yeah. apologize. Take it all uh, back, mate. Uh, all yeah. back. Every <laughs> word ever. A a apology accepted. Apology accepted. I came to save you, and then Jim came back and kind of stepped on my dick. So. <laughs> Pretty big well. dick. Yeah, an easy yeah, thing to do. It is a healthy size. Ah, can we use it to measure against the pizza box? So there it's we are. Inches. That uh, that AG5 is picked mean, up you, in a yes, you can, yes, you can. You can measure it against the 12-inch pizza box. That's not going to tell you much, though. <laughs> Some people right. in Rick's stream are going to be very confused how that managed to pick up in are a tackle these zone. Wontons? So what you've got there is you've got a munchie box and eight wontons. Right, these must be wontons. I'll eat them. <laughs> Jim, aren't you going to die if hey, you can eat anything chicken and broccoli? One one they should look like little tiny brown purses. Oh, oh he's got a nice cam. What a lad. Mm. What do you think? Hold up to the cam, mate. Pointless. They're pretty shit, right? They're, 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 yeah. used, they're worthless. Here comes the whiz on the AG5. Mm. Lovely to see. That was a nice scatter as well. Or yeah. to nearly see if you're watching Jim's stream. <laughs> um, <laughs> only a stun. Break. He's enjoying one for the first time. I think night. to everyone in the chalice, that's disappointing. We all wanted that piece dead. <laughs> yep. Not to, not to Rick, of course. Um, you know, one should be even-handed here. Be mean to Rick uh, like that. No, I don't want to Although see him dead. I want, his I want Rick to win back so to I don't back. Know why we should. Hmm. <laughs> what do you think of the one tons, Jimmy? Yeah, just not very exciting. I know, right? Show, show us the munchie yeah. box, though. It's no chicken and steamed broccoli. That's for damn sure. What we want to see. If you hold the munchie box, box up, we can work out how wide your head is. <laughs> now, with two stand firm diving tackle pieces between the only skink that can feasibly pick this ball up and the ball, <laughs> that's actually a lovely push to push it through. Um, but it still doesn't deal with either of the diving tackle blitzers. It gets it nearer. Um, oh he can God, now do a single dodge good. out, facing only one diving tackle, and then as there aren't any tackle zones on the ball, it probably can pick it up. All right. So this is this is. Oh, the the. <laughs> I can't show you how wide it is compared to my head because of obviously the perspective. Yeah. But, um, it's about. It's about. Oh, so it's, a, it's just a pizza box. Yeah, I thought, yeah, it, was, I thought it was gonna be like a like a long fucking. Oh, wow. Trough of food. No, no, no. He's got to show us the inside, though. That's what we're interested in. Now, there's the kind of a plan here. here. Scissors. I'll be back. What's the plan, PC? Wait, you need scissors if if I trains? was the guard Saurus that's uh, between the piece that le leapt in and the other one, I would knock the piece that leapt in back onto Slibly. Risk the dodge out. I know it's a 50% off diving tackle. Pick the ball up. Go where that piece is. And then use Slibly to chain the tackle piece mm. that he's just knocked over out of the cage and be in a sort of cage mm. yeah um, i kind of like that he hasn't chosen that he has freed up slibly though and he's still got a blitz to do however he still probably needs to power one of the diving tackles with the guard saurus i talked about and then use slibly to try and power the blodge firm oh, he's uh, doing it the other way around <laughs> oh dear Okay, well, he's coming for this one, but I mean, the good vibe of doing it this way around is it keeps the tackle zone on the ball when it mm. obviously fails to knock over the, the dodge piece. Stand firm tackle zone on the ball. At the yeah, end. yeah, so that's that's pretty good. He's still now going to have to dodge off this diving tackle, though. I don't know if I like the stand firm from Rick there. I do. I do. He's got to keep him. He's not sidestep. He's got to keep him on that skink. Yeah. Yeah. And, and because if it hadn't stunned, it's a nice place for it to stand up and have its guards relevant to a few of the Sauruses at once. Bear is finally tickled. <laughs> right. What's going on here? Oh, this is looking now, real bad, isn't it? If this skink dives off, dodges off the diving tackle to try and pick the ball up with its sure hands, that's um, a five plus. 
With dodge, that's about 50%, and about half of the 50% the that succeed leave the uh, diving tackle piece on its ass. And even if he gets the ball, he's got to protect it for another Yeah, I, I don't see how the hell he does that. Um, yeah. The other skink slightly becomes relevant. He is dodging. The he diving tackle failed. worked. And, and stunned his, his sure hands. That yeah. might, in fact, be game. No, I can't show yep. you this because there's 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 a, there's a source here that's going to tip over if well, I... Well, yeah. tilt the camera down. I can't tilt the camera down. It's on my fucking... Uh... I'm a fucking thing in it. Look, there you go. There's the box. You can see there's some chips there. There's some. Ooh, lift it up. Lift it up a bit. Lift it up a bit. Ooh, lift it up so we can see. I thought you ordered them Chinese. No, I did. No. It's got everything it, in it. You don't get chips with Chinese generally. <laughs> you do. It's a munchy box, mate. It's a Honestly, you've box. got such an merit. There isn't any such thing in China as the Colonel's chicken either. That's that's very it, much an American thing, Skuro. Chinese varies the, the world over. Is the cur I know I know that, but like, is the Colonel's chicken General Gao's or whatever? General orange? Gao's chicken or whatever, yeah. yeah that yeah, orange yeah. Okay. stuff What's you get. In American no, 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 I know American. I know American cuisine is not Chinese cuisine, but like French fries certainly fucking aren't. <laughs> A lot of Chinese uh, cuisine here does have French fries available or chips. As well, they said chips. They won't be French fries as in McDonald's. Yeah. Just uh, oven, oven okay. Top. Okay. Yeah. I was thinking classic French fries in there. No, if only, no, mate. No. What's in the wontons, by the way? Fried. Oh, yeah. That, that can vary, fried. Jim. Wonton describes the, the wrapping and the packaging and the size and the shape, not necessarily the contents. Yeah, it's like a white cheese, is what it usually is. Alright. Fuggerdomic, think real hard about that. To send you food, Fall Force would need to know where you live. What's wrong think with that? Think real hard about that. Terrified, isn't it? <laughs> it's great, mate. I haven't sent Jim anything illegal yet, it's all good. <laughs> I mean, in yeah, fact, the he, definition he's of just, wonton. Like, taking out four credit cards in his name, but other than that, yeah. Yeah. about the square wrapper, the doughy skin, how one makes that, and then just says, and you place a small amount of filling in the center. Yeah. Um, so what you choose to place in the center is very much up to the maker of the wonton. But they um, are and shit and bland, though. In most Chinese restaurants, it's whatever the hell they've got left that no one else wants to eat. Think of it as the sausage of uh, Chinese food. Right, so, Jim, wontons for psychopaths or for normal people? Psychopaths. Psychopaths, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Let's be honest. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so Rick's picked the ball up on uh, one of his less extremely awesome and worrying catches. What are these um, things, Fault Force? They are spring rolls, buddy. Are these nice? I think you need to dine at better places, Nasudi, because... I don't know. You tell me. <laughs> it depends what's in them, Jim. You may find there's uh, shredded duck in there, in which case, yes, they're nice. You may disappointingly find it's just full of vegetables. Mm. I've actually tricked Jim into eating vegetables. That was the plan. Have you? Uh, <laughs> yeah. Mate, he has his chicken and broccoli every day in a one-to-one -one ratio. Uh, I, w I, I would advise you, if you are having just a, a vegetable spring roll, uh, I think it goes nicely with a little bit of teriyaki sauce, or possibly even some hoisin. Oh, he got sweet and sour because he's a normal bitch. Well, that's all right. <laughs> yeah. At least there's something. They need, need, need to dip him in a little something just to add that little little What's bit this? of a taste to them, I find. So what, Rick's got not... the ball. It's amazing, hey, that's a sesame prawn toast. What do you, are you oh. asking? Sesame have prawn you, toast. Have you never had Chinese? Not this shit. <laughs> it's minced prawn and sesame seeds sort of pressed into a bit of soggy white bread and then deep fried, Jim. Mmm. That's disgusting. Three, two, one. Jim has a shellfish allergy. Uh. <laughs> That's disgusting. I know it is. <laughs> it's an acquired taste. That's um, genuinely disgusting. Acquired so mainly by the sort of people have we that done the chicken balls yet? Pancakes. We haven't done the salt and pepper ribs yet, have we? What's this? That is a chicken ball, mate. Is it an actual ball of a chicken, mate? It's just yes, a chicken's chicken testicle, chicken deep fried. Yeah. Yeah. Chickens do not they have, have testicles. So many of them together because of the male It's a cloaca. It's a fried, a deep fried cloaca, Jim. No, I'm not eating that one. <laughs> no, it's it's actually, what most normies go for at Chinese restaurants. It is just a bit of chicken, Jim. It's What's just a bit thing? of deep fried chicken. What's this? I don't know, also Jim. Chicken. It's also chicken, Jim. <laughs> <laughs> That's all salt and pepper chicken. All, all of it's chicken. So, so yeah, Rick's got the ball on a breakaway here. Yep. Lizard's trying to recover. Yeah, that's from fine, Jim. Give that a go. 
What are we looking at strategically? <laughs> what do the lizards do to save the game? Um, there's a diving tackle skink that can be completely powerless when something leaps away on a two. Um, really, the only hope here is a lizard dodge. Um, <sighs> Did you like it, Jim? Yeah, it's pretty nice, actually. Yeah, that was indeed uh, a chicken bowl. Yeah. <laughs> At least the lizard is dodging away not from diving tackle, but just from alignment, which, of course, with agility one, makes it a five. <laughs> He hasn't gone for the chicken ball yet. He had a piece of salt and pepper chicken. Actually, because you've got... No, there's a better play. Because the skink can, uh, on two go for it, it's two versus two, can push that catcher back onto the, uh, Ooh, the lizard. Oh, I like that. Yeah, That's the play I would yeah. go for. And then the lizard yep. still gets its hit on the catcher. I like um, that. You've got Good no out. recovery afterwards, but, you know, beggars can't be choosers. you got to just keep the ball on the ground for well, two more turns here. That's yeah. your only hope. Yeah. Is that, is no, that he's doing. He's doing for some reason a blitz off, where he blitzes yeah. a completely irrelevant piece and then <laughs> marks an agility four piece that can catch, <laughs> can lead, and also has dodge. So well, this won't already. work. He's now going to bring the diving tackle over, and Rick will just leap away on a two and win. Right, I quite, I quite like the salt and pepper chicken. It, yeah, salt and pepper's good. Um, it's better on ribs, but it's not bad on chicken. He's got well, he salt and pepper ribs. Yeah, he's got salt and pepper ribs. Yeah. So the diving tackle piece takes out the diving tackle piece, um, which I had forgot that was a diving tackle piece. But really, that needed to be a slightly riskier play um, to have any chance of stopping Rick, which oh, now yeah, he doesn't. Lord of rice. Just Lord of rice. Yeah, that's just box standard fried rice. His best bet here is that Rick scores this turn, leaving him two turns to make it 2-2. Two -two. Which, not an unreasonable expectation. There is a lot of dice to roll to free any kiss love up to protect the ball again. Yep. But, you know. <laughs> you just had a lot of dice to roll about Rick Reckless. Like, that's a thing uh, that would worry Yeah, about. yeah. I, 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 was, I, I realized that mid-sentence. mid, mid -sentence. <laughs> he, went for the he went for the chicken ball. However, I still think he, he doesn't even need to lead this. He can dodge off with his inbuilt re-roll and still score. Like mm-hmm. And I think That's Rick good, will. I think fucking... he'll think he can hold the lizards up for two turns. Getting your mind yeah, open up Rick, to all sorts of fucking Rick is known Chinese. for his chicken balls. He probably <laughs> will stay on the pitch here, run this down, and get the win. Have you tried an onion ring yet, Jim? No. Yeah, it looks like he's going to stall behind that blitz screen he's just built. Takes two go for it to do it, but... If he commits to the first one, he has to do them both. So really, the lizards are looking for two ones out of three here. I've eaten onion rings before. Oh, we were right, Skuro. He is stopping and doing all the leaps and all the dodges and building a cage. All of them. Surprised in the slightest. Shit onion rings. I, I like onion rings sometimes. Shit onion rings. Mate, it's a munchy box. It's not going to be the best quality, mate. No, There's a, a lovely, a high-quality burger place that delivers to us. Um, it has very, very excellent burgers. What's but it has those same shitty deep-fried um, onion rings that you get out of a packet from the freezer oh, yeah? and throw in a, a fryer. Speaking of high quality, uh, this Kislev team quid. forming a high-quality cage here yeah. around the ball to try and bleed the game down. There we are, and the only source that had any hope of getting there now marked up, but as the last action, I think we're done here. Well, that's if you spend done. 13, you can spend 13 quid on a burger, though, you expect, you know, a proper onion ring. Yeah, yeah I mean, it's going to have to be a miracle dodge chicken. at this point. The salt and if pepper chicken is pretty fucking nice, to be fair. Have you had the salt and pepper rib, though? <laughs> no. Try and kill him. Try my best. Oh, I'm sorry, you're on their side. Fuck you, kill. Fuck you. <laughs> yeah, we're talking about chicken, man. <laughs> I gave up a while ago. I really do. I try. I try. I came for you, PC. I came for you. Uh, That's no, not the and first time I, I said that. I appreciated it. I did. <laughs> yeah, usually a uh, uh, late finisher. It's everything in, sleep, he? everything in perfect balance, mate. It's all it is. You've got two people who actually know a damn about Blood Bowl and will commentate about Blood Bowl. You've got two yep. people who order people Chinese and they're here for comedic relief. And Jimmy's and just being a fucking munchie box. Oh, yeah, you got, got Skura as well, yeah. Yeah, you got Skura. <laughs> <laughs> and well, the real, scam, the real scam of it is anyone enjoying this, the tips or cheers or subs, <laughs> it all goes to Jim. 
Exactly. Everyone else is just already not bitter, by the way. Not bitter. bitter on fucking TV. <laughs> not fucking bitter. We sit here, we mod for him, we don't get paid. PC Cars, he doesn't get paid. Fucking hell. Skiro carries JFW on his back. It's a yeah. good job I don't, doesn't because get there paid. is no amount of money that would be worth this. <laughs> <laughs> So is, whatever uh, it was, it would, feel, it would feel insulting, so hence the fact that it's free is probably right. <laughs> um, I'm going to feel really ashamed of myself when I order Chinese for dinner tonight. Mate, order it now. Go on. No. Order it now. Fuck, off. Fuck you, Fall Force. Take dog. some pictures. You're not my dad. Dog. You can't What's tell me what You're out walking your dogs all day, mate. you got to get some food in there. Uh, treat yourself. Get some Chinese, treat the missus mate. Treat as well. Get us yeah. some fucking Chinese, mate. Cheeky Chinese. It'll be nice. Get that. Put a nice film on. Oh, Don't oh, watch Saw Lions again. One sec. Blood Bowl yeah, has no, This time he does try the, the Saurus dodge. And makes it. There's a vague chance something oh. sort of interesting happens, but no. No, fails the 2+, plus, having made the 5+, plus at the second attempt. Oh, well, I respect I... that he tried it. He should have tried it last turn. It was way too late. But like at least he did try that. Well, you and did last turn PC, the 1D from the skink into the oh, in 2D. No, I won't uh, I would have gone for it, but it still was a 50% dodge because it was off diving tackle and it didn't it would have worked. He did try that dodge and it, the diving tackle caught it. But I still think that was probably the way to go, rather than all the dodge off with the Saurus, either way. But um, blitzing a piece and then trying to mark an agility for blodge catcher yeah, that can both leap it. and dodge off on a two seemed unlikely to be successful. <laughs> Couldn't eat that bit, sorry. <laughs> I'm trying to be very positive. You can read what you like into unlikely to be successful. There are other phrases that would have fit there just as well. Was he in a rib? What are you eating? The rib. Are you... oh, Is that a rib? Oh. Mm. Is it any good? No. I'm going to fucking hop out of the window there, mate. No. Onto the next one. <laughs> I love the fact that he said no it's and then terrible. instantly went in for another, another bite. Rip. Oh, he's gone for another one. Oh, that's no. a spare rib. That's not a salt and pepper rib. That's different. What's the spare rib like, mate? It's all right, yeah. So once in a year treat here for Jimmy. <laughs> it is, yeah. And rice every day. Once in a year, once in a fucking decade. Yeah. He's gonna have like a fucking coronary tonight. <laughs> His body just isn't ready for that level of salt. Yeah. Shit, it's all night. Oh yeah, no, his, his body's used to the salt, I suppose. No, we see him um, <laughs> dim streaming tomorrow, and he's all fucking shriveled up and dehydrated. <laughs> <laughs> Local streamer Jimmy Fantastic found dead in bed after consuming a 12 inch munchie box and ate wontons. <laughs> Czechoslovakia in mourning. <laughs> there isn't a Czechoslovakia anymore, is there? Is no, that it's not? Czechia, isn't it? Yeah. Is that really? I, I failed geography, man. I, I, was, I was in the IT lab That's playing the fucking Unreal Tournament. Well, it's one of the reasons I, uh, I can proudly boast, well, on Sunday certainly when my birthday is. I'm not sure I've mentioned that. Um, that I am <laughs> older than most countries and younger than most mountains. Oh, there you go. Happy birthday for Sunday, because I probably won't talk to you before then. If you pop me over your address, you'll get a birthday present. If you don't want to, that's fine. I'm a nice guy. Rick gets birthday presents as well. Terrifies me. <laughs> Do you really send Rick birthday presents? Yeah. Last year I got him some uh, I got some whiskey cubes. So I know he uh, salty, is my salty. drink. Very salty. That would, that would be classy. Yeah. I like the salt and pepper chicken, that's the best part. Well, next week you're getting salt and pepper chicken, mate. It's takeaway Friday. Not next I'm week. a big fan of salt and pepper squid, Jim. I don't know if you eat squid. No, uh, it's I've a never very, very squid. healthy source of protein, very little fat. Mm. You might yeah, want to. You can say the same about cum, but I don't fucking base my meal around it. <laughs> yeah, there's a lot of sugar in cum, though. Well. <laughs> oh, really? Yeah, there's a lot of fructose in it. <laughs> okay, it's good to know, good to know. I think we, we need some samples to test that, though. Um, yeah. I'm, I all right, don't well, I'm going to go no. order dinner. See you guys. Yeah, I don't <laughs> want to know how either of you Thanks, have... Thanks, Duro. Thanks. I don't know. I've taken a fucking biology course. Of... No, okay. 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 On PC. Go on. Victorious. And I, will I have no I thanks will to add about the taste or consistency of cum. Well, I wasn't saying it tastes me. sweet, I just said there's a lot of fructose in it. Yeah. Okay. You know I mean, the man's not saying, oh yeah, fucking, you know what I mean? Yeah. Oh man, thank you very much, Pepper Biscuit, for two gift subs to KLZD and Kilmatronics. Thank you very much, Pepper Biscuit. <laughs> Yo. 
Oh dear. Funny, I have this desire to play some Among Us and stab people. I don't know why that's going to be right now. That's a third one. Yes, Jim, clip it up and I'll get it converted to an MP3. I think, I think we'd, we were seeing an interesting attempt here to do a one turn against three stand firm pieces, but it didn't work. That's surprising, isn't it? So there we are, Rick Reckless, the incomparable, uh, goes through into the second round. For anyone that's interested in... Level in hearing level. what happened during that game, um, there was another cast done on Rick's channel <laughs> uh, by three people, one of whom does understand something about Blood Bowl. So that's also available to you. <laughs> you're so saying you don't know anything about here. Blood Bowl? Yeah. <laughs> oh, God, no, I'm saying that like, that's what you were saying. Flicky Flack, Jack Bull and Volcajo also did a cast Gloria. of that exact game. No, I won't <laughs> give in. Until oh, I'm wow. Thank you, Andrew, for Peppered Biscuit. And I will defend. Give him a sub to Chimp and Coffee Monster. Thank you very, very much, Peppered Biscuit. And uh, thank you, Fault Force and Elp. <laughs> you mad bastards. Thank you very much, PC. Thank you, Skuro. Thanks it's for watching, everyone. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe, and this isn't going on YouTube.